so when one wants to carry out electrochemical measurement, the general configuration is often the so-called three electrode configuration and shown in this schematic and shown in this schematic we have let's say if we are using liquid electrolyte we have a container that contains the electrolyte and we have three electrodes the first one we call WE or working electrode WE for working electrode it's often the electrode of interest on this on or near this electrode where the electrochemical reaction of interest is happening the CE, CE is for counter electrode. It's the electrode counter or opposite to the WE, to the working electrode. And um, the CE is needed to support or pass the current through the electrochemical cell. Okay, you need the counter electrode with the working electrode to support and pass the current that you want. Okay, and R E R E for reference electrode. That is the electrode that you inserted into the system to probe or to measure the potential difference for the electrode or half cell reaction of interest. And quite often it is placed near the working electrode. And Reference electrode, quite often we want it to be fast or it goes through reversible uh, reaction, which means the over potential through the reference electrode would be very, very small, negligible. You place it very close to the working um, electrode of WE so that you can probe the reaction of electrode reaction or half cell reaction of interest. Okay? And then we would have a potential galvanostat. And pay attention, when you have the three electrode configuration, quite often you put the amperometer between the working electrode and the counter electrode. In between them, that's also the power supply if you are doing electrolytic mode. And then between the reference electrode and the working electrode, we have the voltmeter to measure potential or voltage difference between the reference and working. And then the setup that include power source, um, amperometer, voltmeter, this together will give us so-called potential stat or Gavano stat. It is a complex instrument that controls potential or current and measures the other. So for potential stat, stat means constant. You control constant potential and you measure current. Well, for Gavano stat, Gava is for current. You have constant current and measure the change in potential. So this instrument Potential stat, Gavano stat, quite often a single instrument that can control both, either constant potential or constant current. That will be your instrument that you use that can, contains at least three electrodes, working electrode, counter electrode, reference. Some may contain even more leads. Okay, and in terms of example measurement, Example measurement, we said uh, potentiometry, potentiometry, metry means to measure potential, to measure the potential, and we said you measure the voltage between the uh, between working electrode and um, uh, reference electrode when J is zero and the uh, working electrode and reference and uh, when J is zero quite often what people do is people short the working electrode and the counter electrode working electrode counter are often connected or shorted potentiometry you measure the potential between working and the reference at constant current but sometimes when the current is zero then you would short Sometimes you will connect the reference electrode with counter electrode. Okay, potentiometry. Amperometry. Amperometry is to control, fix or fix the voltage between the working electrode and the reference electrode and just measure the current, measure the current for the system. 
And then for voltammetry, for voltammetry, you would systematically control or vary the potential between working electrode and the reference electrode and measure the current. That is voltammetry. You control the voltage between working and the reference electrode and then measure the current. That is called voltammetry. Of course, you can do linear sweep or so called linear sweep voltammetry. You can do cyclic voltammetry. You change the potential increase and then decrease it back and then increase it again. That's cyclic voltammetry. And finally, the EIS. You would measure impedance. You would measure impedance and um, usually at different uh, frequency. Usually at different frequency. You measure impedance typically between the working and the reference. And sometimes when you do this, you often short the working and the counter together. Okay, so these are the configuration that we normally use. We call three electrode configuration and the measurement, we give some examples. There are more, but we just give a few examples here.